Premier League Guide, six national stars return to Max Ojomo thrilling, the sale becomes dirty playoff. Friday Worcester Warriors v Bristol Bears With the six nations taking a break, a plethora of international players will head back to their premiership club. While the English stars will be given a week off by their clubs, any Scots, Welsh or Irish will be made to run the gauntlet, meaning that Worcester will have Duhan van der Merwe available for a match between two clubs who have found wins hard to come by. Worcester have not won in the Premiership since December 4 and, despite some wonderful touches by Finn Smith, Warriors could not quite cut the mustard against Sale, falling away in the final quarter, the opposite fashion to how they started the season. As for the Bears, they were battered at home to London Irish, ending a run of four consecutive wins in all competitions, but they did at least win the reverse fixture in November, their fifth in a row against Worcester. Bristol will have to defend better than they did against the Exiles, regardless of their scoring power, and will have to do it without the suspended Ratanoligo. It will be the snarly blood and thunder of Steve Diamond against the brotherly love and family first approach of Pat Lamb. It should make for a fascinating contest. Saturday Bath v Leicester Tigers When Bath lose, Leicester win. When Bath win, Leicester lose. We don't seriously think that we will see a draw at the wreck, do we? Didn't think so. After back-to-back -back victories, Bath have lost their past two, but there are at least a few more positives than there were a month or two ago, one of them being Max Ojimo. Whether at fly half or in the center, the second-generation superstar is destined for the top. He played a beautiful flat pass for one try in the defeat by Wasps before skipping and stepping through tackles to assist another. He was class, despite defeat, but also a word for Nathan Hughes, who knew that this 6 feet 5 inches near, Wenny Stone monster had a cute little dink off the boot in him. Amazingly Bath have also won 10 of their past 11 at the wreck against Leicester, but there hasn't been this big a gulf between the two squads for some time. Leicester remain top after completing a derby double against Northampton and victory this weekend will keep them ahead of a chasing pack which is shuffling week after week. Freddie Burns continues to enjoy his run in the side, while Steve Borthwick can always rely on the Southern Hemisphere super sluggers Julian Montoya and Jasper Weed. Ten months ago, Bath emerged triumphant by a point in this fixture. It looks likely that Leicester will win by a few more than that on this occasion. Harlequins v Wa. Now this is a tough one to call, but you can predict that there will be tries in the capital. Bereft of some of their big stars, Quins have struggled, losing their past three premiership games and opening the door for clubs such as Wasps to put their hands up for a playoff spot. In the derby defeat away to Saracens, the champions gave away too many penalties at the breakdown and could not get their running rugby going in turgid condition. Danny Kerr scored a clever try in a game in which Quins were feeding off scraps, but what hurts them more than losing home and away to Saris this season is that they did not take a point away from the Stonex Stadium. They are now only one point clear of fifth, but that could all change at Twickenham Stoop. A resurgent Wasps sit one place below Quinns having won their past four, adding Bath to a list of casualties that includes Leicester, Saracens and Exeter last weekend. They took a bit of time to make the most of their man advantage against Bath after Samisa Rokadugini's red card, but their line-out drive clicked and Paolo Odegu was in inspired form. He would do a job in the Six Nations, be it for England or Italy. Quinns came from 16-0 down at halftime to beat Wasps in Coventry, and will need plenty of that fighting spirit here. London Irish v Saracen If this encounter has half as much drama as the reverse fixture, we're in for a treat. With 18 minutes to play at Stonex Stadium on November 6, London Irish were 19 points and a man down against a relentless Saracens, only to end up drawing the match. It was arguably the comeback of the season. These sides are similarly matched in terms of form heading into this game with three wins and two defeats from their past five and coming off victories last weekend. Nothing brings a smile to Sari's faces quite like beating Harlequins, and they celebrated a meaty scrum in the final moments to secure the triumph as if they had won the league. I mean, this is Saracens we are talking about. Tom Wollstonecroft is making the most of Jamie George's absence with some tremendous form and another try, while the Vunipola brothers are mad for it at present. But they know all about London Irish's try threat. They are the closest to Saracens' league-high try count. The Exiles scored six tries at Ashton Gate to take the cumulative score against Bristol this season to 82-77 to in their favor. All those tries and yet the pack deserve a big pat on the back especially the league's form lock pairing of Rob Simmons and Adam Coleman. The Wallaby duo will be key if London Irish are to end a run of nine games without victory against Saracen. If they pulled that off, it would mark the first time in six years that they have won three home league games on the spin. There will be some big strong boys butting heads in another London derby this weekend. We love it. Northampton Saints v Sale Shark This match is a bit like asking Picasso to take on Brock Lesnar in a tree-tossing contest. Beauty is one thing but sometimes just being bigger, 
stronger and harder can get you what you need. Northampton gave proof of that against a brutal Leicester team last weekend, and while they knitted together some pretty moves, most notably through Alex Mitchell and Rory Hutchinson, they could not live with the old enemy's power game. Hell, it was as if the small planet that is Nemani Natalo had an invisibility cloak on at time. At present, Northampton are beating the league's lower hanging fruit and not putting up a fight against playoff rivals. They have a game in hand on many of the chasing pack, but have slipped to seven. On the other hand, Sale are getting back in the groove and have won four of their past five games with maximum points to give them the tilt at the top four that everyone expected from the off. They will go above Saints with a victory at Franklin's Gardens, and if Faf and Raf show up then that should not be a problem. There is not a better pair of scrum halves turning out for a premiership club at the moment, and when you throw in the captivating actions of the majestic AJ McGinty and the regal Sam James, it makes Sale such a scary proposition to face right now. Oh yeah, and Manu Tuolaji is not bad either. Northampton have won only two of their past nine against Sale, but those victories did at least come on home soil. The indicators are that it will be an away wind but, hey, this is the premiership we are talking about. Sunday, Newcastle Falcons v Exeter Chief. All things considered over the past year, Exeter's beating of Gloucester at Sandy Park last week was a tremendously impressive result. Chiefs have been plagued by injuries and absentees all season, but ground out a spirited performance of fun against the Gloucester Gladiators. Gloucester have taken over the mantle of line out drive kings this term, but the old masters Exeter showed that they still have that move in their arsenal when they need it. Not many teams will do the double over Gloucester this season and it was a huge victory in what has been a bleak season for the Chiefs. Jack Innard has been strong at hooker, Josh Hodge was exceptional last week, and we are starting to see more from the likes of Joe Simmons, Ollie Woodburn and Tom O'Flaherty. Exeter have to use this result as a springboard. After three successive defeats, the triumph moved Exeter only two points from the playoffs, absolute carnage, this league. Which brings us nicely on to the hosts, Newcastle. They actually won the reverse fixture ending a run of 10 consecutive defeats at Sandy Park. That match happened 103 days ago, and they have not won in the league since. In fact, the Falcons have been toilet. Adam Radwin has conjured up the occasional solo brilliance, but Dean Richards cannot be relying on one player. Even Bath have shown a bit more promise than Newcastle as of late, and are 10 points worse off in the table. The present feeling is that this is a lovely fixture for Exeter to have. However, the Chiefs are not always at their best when making the 737-mile round trip to Kingston Park, but, again, this is the Premiership. Premier 15th News There are only five rounds of the Allianz Premier 15th remaining of the regular season, and the race for the crucial top four playoff positions is closer than ever before. The round begins on Saturday as Bristol Bears travel to Twyford Avenue to face Watt. Bristol sit comfortably in second place on the table, five points clear of their closest rivals Harlequins, but for Wasps this is a crucial chance to gain some points to propel them further up the league. Giselle Mather's Wasps are six points below the top four with a tough run of fixtures ahead of them, including games against Saracens and Harlequins. Top of the table Saracens will host Gloucester Hartbury at the Stonex Stadium on Saturday in what is likely to be a tough day for the visitors. Saracens have won all previous encounters between the sides, but Gloucester almost managed to close the gap in the most recent fixture with a score of 21-24 to Saracen. At the bottom of the table, DMP Durham Sharks travel to Worcester Warriors with the knowledge that Worcester have beaten them by at least 50 points in their previous three fixtures. Saturday's action ends as Loughborough Lightning host Exeter Chiefs in the club's first doubleheader with Northampton Saints, who play Sale Sharks in a premiership fixture at Franklin's Garden. On Sunday, Harlequins play Sale Sharks in a match dedicated to LGBTQ plus pride. The London side are on a high after bouncing back from a tough loss against Saracens a fortnight ago to beat Worcester Warriors 42-15 last weekend. Sale remain firmly second from the bottom of the table, taking only 7 points this season, compared with Harlequins 45. Round 14 fixtures. Saturday Wasps v Bristol Bears, kickoff 1.30pm, stream live via premier 15scom Saracens v Gloucester Hartbury. 2 p.m. Worcester Warriors v DMP Durham Sharks, 2 p.m. Loughborough Lightning v Exeter Chiefs, 5.15 p.m., live on the BBC Sport website, app and BBC iPlayer.